Hello, I'm John Einberger, Horizontal Machining Center Product Manager at Makino, and welcome to another IMTS 2024 preview. One of the machines that we're going to debut at this year's IMTS is the Makino A500IR. This is a five-axis horizontal machining center, and it features a fully integrated rotary table on rotary table design. From a basic specification perspective, the machine has a X stroke of 900 millimeters, a Y of 750, and a Z stroke of 800 millimeters. The B axis has a 290 degree range of motion from negative 110 to positive 180 degrees. And the C axis that sits on top of B has a full 360 degree range of motion. The pallets that are used on the A500 IR are 500 millimeter square. They are unique to this machine in the Makino lineup in that they use four spigots on the backside of the pallet for both location and clamping purposes. The work zone of the machine is 700 to 900 millimeters in diameter, and it has a height of 600 millimeters with a payload capacity of 400 kilograms. From a spindle perspective, the standard offering will be a 14,000 RPM high power unit with options for a 20,000 RPM high speed and a 24,000 RPM high speed, high power spindle unit. The floor space is 3,600 millimeters wide by 59, 90 millimeters deep. And available tool magazines will start with the standard 90 tool ring with options for a 133, 218, or 313 tool matrix. Compared to a machine that's already in our product lineup, the A61 NX5E, the A500IR is significantly bigger in all regards. The X stroke has an additional 170 millimeters of stroke, the Y an additional 20, and the Z an additional 120 millimeters of stroke. The work zone has up to 200 millimeters more diameter and 200 millimeters more height and the payload is 250 kilograms greater. The 14,000 RPM spindle has a 37 kilowatt advantage in peak power output relative to the 61 NX5E. While the torque is the same at 303 Newton meters, the torque range is extended an additional 580 RPM beyond the starting point relative to the 61 NX. From a kinematic arrangement standpoint, the x-axis is a traveling column, the y-axis a spindle carrier within that column, and the z-axis the payload moving towards and away from the spindle, the b-axis rotates around y, and the c-axis rotates around z. The standard tool magazine, as noted before, is a 90 tool ring very efficient from the standpoint of space consumption as well as speed of operation. Some of the highlights of the structure on the 500 IR, we continue to use the Makino pioneered step bed column design that shortens the force path from the cut through the spindle, through the column and into the bed casting. Also with taking weight out of the column and transferring that to be static weight in the bed casting, it increases the responsiveness of any x-axis movement on the machine. On the other side of the cut force equation on the table side, the design that we're using also shortens that force path. When used in combination, this allows full utilization of the very generous power and torque output of all the spindles offered on this machine, as well as full utilization of the Y stroke of the machine relative to heavy duty cutting. In summary, the minimized force loop length maximizes machine assembly rigidity, maximizes metal removal rate, and minimizes perishable tooling costs and consumption. Given the range of motion of the B axis, again from negative 110 to positive 180 degrees, within that range of motion, very easy to do very significant undercuts on the workpiece. Uh, be able to do that machining not only in the northern hemisphere of a globe, so to speak, but down below those margins. 
In addition, the A500IR has a very unique pallet changer that takes that payload that's sitting vertical inside of the machining area and after the pallet change, drops that pallet down to a horizontal orientation, greatly easing workload uh, from the standpoint of the operator getting payload onto and off of that pallet. From a power output standpoint, the standard 14,000 RPM spindle unit peaks at 84 horsepower. It peaks um, at 223 foot-pounds of torque, but also has a continuous power output of 40 horsepower. Option number one is a 20,000 RPM spindle. That'll peak at 60 horsepower. That has a continuous power output of 35 horsepower and maximum torque of 129 foot-pounds. The other option that's going to be offered on the machine is under development right now. It's a new 24,000 RPM high power, high speed unit. Uh, we'll update specifications as they become available, but expect that the, that the metal removal rate, particularly in structural aluminum, will be very high on this particular spindle. Some of the things that we wanted to do, we really uh, understood that the chip generation capability of both the structure of the machine as well as the spindles was going to be uh, outstanding. What we needed to do is make sure that that chip generation and the flow of the chips from the workpiece down into the machine and out did not hinder the performance or reliability of the machine. Given this, the A500IR uses a significant number of systems that are already proven in our NX series line of machines. Things like the center trough structure, the single piece weight covers on the Z and the X axes, multiple coolant delivery systems, as well as extensive coolant filtration. The A500IR will be uh, connectable to a variety of different automation solutions ranging from the Makino MMC pallet handling system that can service one or more machines, is expandable in the field, uh, very modular in nature. Also the pallet magazine, which is gonna be a one machine entity, but ranging from seven to 21 pallets available to that single machine, as well as a future development of the machine that eliminates the pallet changer but allows direct load of workpieces on the pallets using robotics. From a control standpoint, the Makino A500IR features our well-known uh, Pro 6 control living on the FANUC uh, 31i base platform. So very easy movement through the screens on the Pro 6 control, very efficient operation, very intuitive. So come see us at IMTS 2024. I'd love to be able to demo the machine for you. We're going to have it set up there with a variety of different demonstrations running on it. Once again, John Einberger from Makino, and we'll see you in Chicago.